All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up 2FA or two-factor authentication in Proton. So if you have a Proton account, then just follow along and you'll be able to set up two-factor authentication. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to head over to the website. I'm going to leave a link to the website in the description so you can follow along. So when you get here, you just enter your username and your password. So after you're done entering your username and your password, you tap sign in. So after you successfully sign in, you're going to see a list of all the Proton products. So you can choose any one you want, but for this tutorial, I'll go with the first one, Proton Mail. So after you're successfully logged in, you want to come up here to these three lines in the top left corner. Tap on the lines and then just tap your email address. So your drop down will show. All you need to do next is tap settings. So it's going to give you an overview of your account. We don't need this. We just need to come here, tap this, and then you tap account and password. So from here, you can do things like change your display name or your password, but we are only interested in two-factor authentication. So yeah, this is the option for two-factor authentication. And um, I forgot to say this in the beginning. For two-factor authentication to work, you will need an um, authenticating app. So for this tutorial, we'll be using Google Authenticator, or you can use any other one you like. There's also one called Authy Authenticator. So I'll leave that one in the description as well, if I remember. Anyways, so when you get here, you tap on this switch to activate it. So it's going to ask you to enter your password, the password to your Proton account. So after entering your password, just tap authenticate. So you're just going to follow a few steps that will be displayed. The first thing you do is read this if you want. I've read it before, so I don't have to do it anymore. Then I'll tap next. And now a QR code should be showing. I'm going to have to blur it because this is supposed to be private. Don't let anybody have access to the QR code that will be displaying here. But uh, we don't need the QR code right now. We just need to tap this link that says enter key manually instead. So you're going to get a code down here as well. So just tap here to copy the code. If you tap here, it's going to say key copied to clipboard. Now, this key should also be a private key. You're not going to see the entirety of the, of the key because I'm going to be hiding some of the characters. So just tap here to copy the key. And the next thing to do is to move to Google Authenticator. So if you don't have Google Authenticator, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can click on it and then you can download it. It's going to be a link to the Google Play Store. If you use an iPhone, then you can just head over to the App Store and search for Google Authenticator. So after installing it to your device, open it. So usually you're going to see a button over here in the bottom right corner. So you click it or you tap it. That's why this channel is called click and tap. And then you tap enter a setup key. So you want to come down here to where it says your key and then you tap it. Then remember the code that you copied from the Proton website. You want to paste it here. So you can long press. And then you tap paste. So after pasting, you come up here to where it says account name and then just tap it and give it a name that will make you remember that this is for Proton. So ideally you can just type Proton. So after you're done giving it a name and entering the code that you copied from the website, you tap add. After doing that, you're going to see this option here. If you named it Proton, that's what it's going to be called here. So you can see that this um, cycle, it's no longer a cycle anymore. It's just to indicate that it is counting down. And when the cycle is completely gone, then this code will change. That's because the code needs to keep changing so that uh, nobody will be able to easily hack into your account in case they get a hold of your Proton password. If they get a hold of it, then they try to log in. It's going to ask them for the current code. You can see that the cycle is starting to go down. So the code is going to change again. So I'll wait for the code to change so that I can quickly copy it and paste it in the website. So to copy the code, you just long press. So I'll wait for it to change and then I'll long press. So that means that the code has been copied. Now I'll switch back to the website. So I have to do this quickly so that the code doesn't expire. I'll tap next and then I'll just enter the code and tap submit. So from here, ProtonPass is going to give me some codes that I should also keep safe just in case I lose the first code that I copied earlier. 
well i'm not going to be downloading this one because i'll be doing this over again so that um, i get a new set of codes but for you you want to make sure you download the code by tapping download here and then save it or you can also take a screenshot and save it somewhere that you know no one else has access to i've made a video on how you can store all these codes securely so i'm going to link that in the description as well so after you tap download and it's done downloading then you tap close as you can see over here i have two-factor authentication checked so whenever i want to log in from a different device or i decide to log out from this device the next time i want to log in it's going to ask me to use that code and i have to head to to google authenticator and then get the current code you can see the code has changed the game from the previous one i don't even remember the previous code but um i'm sure if you rewind the video you'll see that the code has changed all right so that's basically how you set up two-factor authentication for proton and uh, yeah if you guys have questions please let me know in the comments and uh, if you haven't subscribed please do i'll see you in the next video take care and bye bye